I need over 20 raised beds. I priced the lumber and it was going to cost over a thousand dollars. There is no way I am paying that. Then I remembered last year I watched a video on YouTube where a guy had made raised beds out of cement. I rewatched his videos, came up with a plan of my own, and priced it out. It was going to cost less than $220 for 20 raised beds. I made the forms out of materials I already had on hand, therefore my cost was $0. This is a great example of being frugal, thinking outside of the raised garden bed box. I've never made concrete forms. I've never poured concrete. Therefore I wanted to do a test run first, so I made the forms out of scrap materials. I can't be the only person feeling the pinch of the lumber prices. Luckily I had a scrap 2x10, uh, 8 foot long. I cut it into uh, 2 foot sections. I'm about to list it on eBay for like $400 a section and uh, we'll see how long these last. The forms I'm making are only two foot by two foot. That doesn't sound like a huge raised bed, but it's what I use to plant grapes and other single larger berries, like blueberries, even some smaller dwarf fruit trees. It really wouldn't do much good to tell you how to make these forms because everybody will want a different size raised bed and the forms are specific to the raised bed size. I only had a single 2x10x8 by by foot board as a base. That means due to the width of the saw blade, I had to make the forms just shy of 2 foot long. I've got the one form completed. I've got all the pieces now cut out for the other three forms and I started building those and uh, hopefully I can have these done this evening. So now I got all four forms built, probably not as great as I would have liked for them to have been but this wood was just scrap wood I had some of it was pretty dried out some of it was cracked it split really easy and uh, tomorrow I'm hoping to be able to get some concrete quick reet quick reet quick reet is that right quick reet anyways and uh, start pouring these and let them set up for a couple of days so we'll see how this turns out should be a lot cheaper than doing wooden raised beds right now because I figured that well 2x12 was almost 60 bucks for a 12 foot 2x12 and a 50 pound bag of quickery is like 287 and I figure it's going to take two bags per raised bed these are relatively small these are for grapes so we'll see how it works Use uh, two and a half bags of mix to make four forms.
They were calling for rain, so I set them aside overnight to finish curing. In this short video clip that I sped up, I'm removing the forms in order to check the fit and the alignment of the holes. This is the moment of truth. Did my measurements work? With my cancer recovery, everything takes much longer. I have memory loss issues. Therefore, I measured 75,000 times and cut once. I was so worried the holes wouldn't line up for the rebar that holds the ends together that they turned out great. This is definitely doable with a few things to be aware of. Mixing concrete in a 5 gallon bucket is okay for one raised bed, but 20? Nope. Takes way too long. Now that I've proven that the forms actually work, it's time to ramp up production and use a more efficient means to mix the concrete. I decided to buy a concrete mixer from Harbor Freight Tools that cost $240, but I saved almost $800 by using concrete instead of lumber, so even with the mixer cost, I'm still coming out ahead. It took a little over an hour to put this together. And it is pretty noisy. The first batch only took about five minutes to mix. When using the bucket, I had to use a lot of water because it would start setting up before I could pour it. This is a look at the second poured set of forms. I can tell the mixed concrete will be a better and smoother finish. Some pros of using concrete instead of lumber for raised beds. Concrete is stronger than lumber. Concrete will not rot. Concrete held together by rebar should last a long time. Concrete is way cheaper than lumber in 2021. All of the ingredients used to make concrete is already in most native soils, yet we don't really know what they treat lumber with. There is not currently a concrete shortage, it was actually on sale. There are some cons of using concrete instead of lumber. The forms have to cure for 24 hours, so it takes longer to build concrete raised beds than raised beds out of lumber. 20 raised beds for my grapes will take 20 days. 20 raised beds using lumber would take me 1 to 3 days tops. As always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe and share buttons. God bless you. God bless your families. God bless your homesteads.